guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to bring you a spring haul. If you remember, if you've watched my last video, I did a spring capsule wardrobe and I mentioned in that video that I still had some pieces that I was waiting to arrive and this is the video. I feel like these pieces I've accumulated over the last one to two months, especially because there wasn't as many posts in January. I feel like you haven't seen it, so I want to feature it in this video. Some of them are more recent purchases and other things, but I'm very excited for you to be able to see it. They're all things that I picked up to elevate my spring wardrobe. Now this video isn't sponsored but I do have a far-fetched discount code which I'll feature in this video. It'll probably be the first thing that I showed you and I will share with you what I picked up from Farfetch. In this video there is quite a mix of high-end and high street pieces. I'm looking around and I have a few things from Netta Porter, Theory, Matches Fashion, Jimmy Choo, Farfetch, things like that. But then I also have things from Arquette and Cos and H&M, Massimo Duty. So there is quite a mix. I'll definitely try to mix it together so that it's not all the premium things at one go and then all the high street things in one go. Now some of these pieces you might have already seen on Instagram and on TikTok which I'll leave on the screen now in the description box of this video especially because I work with Farfetch over on Instagram so if you ever want a Farfetch discount code when it first comes out and it's usually first over on Instagram I also have a highlights on my page for Farfetch so you can go through it and see all the things that I picked up previously but with that being said I just want to get into this video because I'm genuinely so excited I feel like I say that with every video but I genuinely am starting off with what I picked up from Farfetch I picked up a pair of Jimmy Choo heels now these are a pair that I've wanted for the longest time I actually picked up a dupe for these from Kurt Geiger and you might have spotted them in my Christmas gift guide video and I picked those up because actually I needed them for an event that was going to happen two days later and I didn't really want to go out and buy a pair of Jimmy Choo heels just for the sake of an event. I didn't know how much wear I was going to get out of them. I'm going to take them out of their packaging so you can see. These are the Jimmy Choo Bing 100s in the black patent leather. Now, I actually decided to size up in these so I got these in a 39 and a half and that's because it is recommended to size up half a size in these. If you get your usual size, I feel like the back of your toe sticks out a little bit. So I decided to go for a 39 and a half. And to be honest, recently when I've been picking up heels with pointed toe, I've been sizing up half a size anyways. So there's these jewels going across the front and they are just so incredible. I felt like the Kurt Geigers were a little bit chunky on the toe. And I just felt like these look so much more streamlined on your foot. I know it's such a little detail, but to me it really does matter. Just the fact that they're a patent leather that they need breaking into but heel height wise they are so comfortable for what they are. Next up I picked up some pieces from Netta Porter. As you can tell I've been loving Netta Porter. I'm gonna start off with the piece that I am so in love with. I mean I love all of these pieces but in particular these. These are a pair of heels that I picked up for my birthday which was in January. These are honestly a dream come true. Not only is it a dream you know me shopping on Netta Porter but also these particular heels. If you follow me on Instagram and you've been there for a while you will know what I'm talking about because I've actually loved these shoes for the longest time and remember posting these back in 2021 or something. These are from Magda Boutrim and the reason why it was hard to find these is because this is from the 2021 season. You're not really going to be able to see them entirely properly because they are wrap around around the ankles. You'll see the close-ups. These are the most incredible pair of heels and I genuinely mean it. These I always visualize as my elegant shoe and now I have them. This is how they look. So these are around 110 millimeters of heel height or around 11 centimeters. I've worn them so often so I actually wanted to break into them. These are not a patent leather so they don't actually need as much breaking into as for example the Jimmy Choo's. They have this cushioning to it. Yes they are high and if you don't put it around your ankle properly it can become really uncomfortable but they're not actually uncomfortable. Around two nights before my birthday I was browsing on Netta Porter sale filtered it out to the brands that I wanted to shop and then honestly at the bottom of the page was these and I spotted them not only did I spot them but there was only one left and it was only one left in my size out of all the sizes so I just knew I had to get them and I absolutely love them I'm so happy I have them in my collection like I mentioned with the Jimmy shoes I sized up in these I went to a size 39 and a half as well these I actually will leave the price and size on the screen I would have done that at the beginning when I started talking about these but actually they retail for 550 pounds I picked them up in the Netta Porter sale for 385 I believe which I just love the fact that that just worked out the way it did. Then we have this big bag from Netta Porter, which I have a few more things that I picked up. One of these things, again, is one of those dream pieces scenarios like the heels, and I will show you that first. Piece of ready-to-wear from Loewe. Now, I have wanted this 
for a while. Again, I'm going to put this bag down. So I'm just going to take the box that's remaining in here. So I actually spotted this shirt randomly once on Pinterest and I loved it. And then I remember seeing in one of Tamara's videos that she had picked this up and I just fell in love with it. The only thing is I was trying to figure out if this was gonna to be too yellow on my skin tone. So it's a silk shirt from Loewe. Again, it's one of those situations where this is actually now last season. They actually don't make this anymore. They now make an updated version. So this is, hopefully the lighting shows it well, but you'll see it in the close up the most gorgeous off-white cream toned silk shirt from Loewe with the embroidered logo. I absolutely love this embroidered version. The new version that they've brought out, one is not in this off-whitey color. It's a, more so like a proper white. And then the logo isn't embroidered, embossed into the shirt. Now the only thing about this shirt is that it will actually be going back even though it's literally my dream shirt. And it's for two particular reasons but first of all i got this in a size 38 which is a size 10 which is one of the reasons i'll get to and this one i picked up for 895 pounds which is definitely a premium price to pay for a shirt and i'll get to that in a second because essentially i thought i was going to be able to get more use out of it and i will still be getting it again but i absolutely love this there is literally nothing to fault the color is amazing the reason i actually picked this up because you will see in the rest of this haul that i picked up similar shirts like this from uniqlo and h&m because i hadn't filled in the void of getting this shirt i kept buying loads of dupes so this is sometimes what can happen and I don't want to do that and so instead what I decided to do was to just go ahead get the shirt so that I can at least know that I've had it whether or not I genuinely love it or if it's just I'm making it up in my head like is it actually going to be what I think it's going to be now on the model it looked quite yellow and so I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be that buttery pastel yellow color and that it was going to be the very rich cream off-white color which it actually is the thing about this is I picked it up because it came back in stock it had sold out completely when I saw this come out in a size above of my own i said you know what i still need to pick it up i just need to know whether or not i love it and actually i picked it up and it is too big for me it's not majorly big it's more of an oversized fit but the thing is this already has a naturally boxy design and for me if i'm spending 895 pounds essentially 900 pounds on a shirt it can't just be something that's not my size and also the way i visualized this shirt was to go with a lot more pieces than it actually does go with but this is incredible i must say i definitely will be picking this up in a size 36 because i just love it so much it's definitely more than what i usually was paying for shirts but i definitely feel on this occasion especially because it's one of my dream pieces i can it's okay <laughs> and then lastly from net reporter i picked up some sunglasses now i picked up and you'll see close-ups because these are tiny obviously five pairs of sunglasses from Le Specs. that's just primarily because i feel like these are the most affordable range of sunglasses that they have on the Netta Porter website and with me I'm so used to affordable sunglasses one you can lose them they can break things like that I just prefer getting things like this especially because sunglasses to me they are a finishing touch but to me it's more so about the clothes and how I've styled it I actually have all of my receipts for all the pieces from Netta Porter here so I'll be able to tell you the prices I mostly picked up round oval sunglasses even though they actually don't suit me I found but that's the whole point I wanted to experiment first pair that I have is Outer Love and it's in this tortoise shell with this greeny blue lens. Now, don't laugh as I put these on because as I said, oval shape now learn are not the ones that suit me the best. But again, I just wanted to have fun with it. So these are the first ones. I'm just looking in the mirror behind the camera, but these are the first pair. I wanted something that's going to be very, not vintage style, but something that matches with the pieces that I have for spring season and the style that I'm going for. I think with these ones, it's the fact that I found that they were a little bit too thin. I mean, now that I wear them, I kind of like that. I might laugh as I'm editing this video and realize no. These specific ones were £50. And then these ones are called Work It in this black frame. These gave me swimming goggles vibes. And to be honest, maybe all the oval ones will do that, but especially because this one has a thicker outside rim, it just made me think swimming athlete. So because of that, it just reminded me of going swimming and wearing goggles. I just need to figure out shapes that work on my face. These specific ones are actually 60 pounds. Other pair that I got are these rectangular ones and these ones were 60 pounds. These ones are called Pilferer. They are in this rectangular style in this like chocolatey brown color. I will look back at this footage and figure out if I like it. The next pair that I picked up are also Ovula and these ones are the Outer Love one again. 
in black so you might think that i did pick these up but these ones have thinner rims than the other ones again i just thought for me with these outer love is i didn't feel like they covered enough area of my eyes and i like to wear my sunglasses slightly off my nose as opposed to all the way up lastly i picked up another pair which comes in a different packaging because it's a sustainable collection i believe this one is called eye trash these ones are in this brown toned chocolatey color which i'm not sure about the shade yet but this is how they look on me it's i'm not sure about these i think they might be a little bit too cat eye for me also it reminds me of when i started shooting content i used to use these i think they were from h&m cat eye sunglasses it really reminds me of that i'm not sure again it really is something that i will watch back these videos and figure out these ones were 65 pounds now mixing it up a little bit i picked up some pieces from arquette i actually picked up two pieces the first one you might have already seen in my previous video which was the spring capsule wardrobe and it is this double face wool jacket in this incredible dark beige color whenever i used to see this before it was a little bit too chilly to even consider it and now that spring is rolling around i just thought it was perfect also because i've been planning my spring outfits now so i knew that this would actually fit into the outfits i already have pick this up in the size europe 38 which i believe is a size uk 10 because i do remember sizing up one in this i believe it was 229 pounds if i'm not wrong again i'll put the prices of everything on the screen the next thing and last thing that i picked up from Arquette is actually in need of esteem I've realized but it's this swimsuit now I actually picked this up from the H&M website because I recently spotted that on the H&M website now you can shop pieces from Arquette basically all the brands that are under H&M I actually picked this one up in a size Europe 36 now it does say here that it's a UK 10 Europe 36 is a size UK 8 normally that's with Arquette sizing I'm actually gonna size down one or even two in this just because I found that there was some bagginess this isn't my usual size but I did want to try it out it's in this navy blue and cream running around I just thought this would look so nice with again the color palette that i'm going for in this spring season and then it's also backless so it has this really cool design at the back which you'll be able to see in the cutaway clips now next up i picked up two pieces from cos i picked up this which many of you loved over on instagram this is a blazer to be honest i picked this up back in december and i'm so happy they still have it in stock i'm so happy i have it because when i bought this in my head i was thinking I don't know why but i feel like this is going to be really useful in my spring wardrobe and i didn't have the pieces that i have now to style it with but i just thought you know what let me pick it up now this is in a size europe 36 which i believe is a size 8 but again i feel like cos and arquette work with the same sizing they consider a europe 36 to be a size 10. i actually don't remember the price of this so i'll put it on the screen but it's this wool blazer which i love so much in this light torpy beige color and it's so incredible especially with an all cream outfit a dark brown bag and then i did actually pick up a double faced wool but in a longer version again i picked this up quite a while ago got this one in a size extra small there isn't really much for me to say about this and i don't want to over talk about it so that's all i'll say about it i'll link everything in this video in the description box of this video so you can check it out the next thing i picked up is actually from matches fashion i actually picked up two bags again i was just experimenting with pieces that i wanted to have for my spring wardrobe i actually picked up two which i'll show you from a brand called dragon diffusion this is a dark brown leather bag in the same sort of weaving as your Bottega Veneta bags and the bottom I don't know if this is Togo leather but it's this leather base which is different to the weaving so that you don't have weaving unraveling at the bottom from placing it down inside is just the typical inside of the leather almost this suede-ish material if you remember in my last video i mentioned that i was looking to get the fendi peekaboo in the dark brown color in the mini size i will still be getting that bag but i decided to hold off for a second and i'm so happy i did now this one was actually 350 pounds as i'm checking on the receipt it actually is 300 pounds and plus VAT is 350 so I think when I saw it on the website I'm not sure if it had it with VAT now from the same brand I picked up another one which is more of this beach bag vibe to be honest I'm still deciding on whether or not I want to keep this so this one was 265 pounds but after VAT I paid around 309 pounds for this and I just I'm not sure because at first I thought it does look good when this actually comes up when you fill the bag with something square shape I'm just not sure I'm going to get much use out of this bag so 
so I feel like I'm gonna end up returning it just because I've been using this a lot more and they're the exact same color. Next up, I decided to pick up some pieces from a brand called Enza Costa. Now this was actually sent as PR. This arrived at perfect timing because the pieces in here I genuinely love. So in here, I picked up some cream. This is actually not silk, it's a satin finish though. This is a pair of satin wide leg trousers from Enza Costa, which is my first time hearing of this brand. They are actually on Revolve and Forward. These are just incredible. Again, I don't think the color payoff is showing up properly on camera, but you'll see it in the close-up video. This one is in a size zero, and I just absolutely love how these look. It's quite to the floor type of thing. So with these, I just roll it up, which really doesn't look bad when you roll it. I actually also picked out the top which is the same material as the bottoms. It's this off the shoulder design. Now I, again, because this was PR, I decided why not give it a go, step outside of my comfort zone. I love being able to do that, especially with PR. In this particular case, I'm not sure yet on this top. Maybe it's the way I styled it. I styled it directly with the trousers, like it's styled on the model. And I just think on me, it looked, I'm not sure. Then the last two pieces I picked up is the same trousers, but in black. I actually have a pair of silk trousers from Arkham. These are a little bit more weighty than the Arquette ones, but then again, these are not silk. These are, I believe, 100% rayon. And then I also picked up a like it was on the model. It's this black long sleeve in this ribbed material. It's very stretchy. And then the back is actually backless and it has this detail running through it. Also on the topic of US based brands, this is actually a cardigan from Jenny Kane. I do need to stitch on the label. It's kind of come off a little bit, but really resembles the Kate cardigan. It's called the Cooper cardigan. This was 470 $25, I believe. I ordered it to London and I paid about one third of the price of the cardigan for custom fees. So I believe it was something around £150 for customs. I do definitely know that at some point I'll pick up the Kate cardigan. I do have other pieces from Jenny Kane that I've tried before and I really love. It's so nice. I've been wearing it literally every day because it's just so incredible for spring. This is from Massimo Duty, which is this tank top. I just picked up one thing from Massimo Duty. Again, you've probably seen this in my last video. I styled it with a pair of blue jeans that I got from Cos from the Cosworth the Hype video. This I got in a size Europe extra small. I didn't have a tank top in this color and quality just felt so nice. So I just decided to go for it. Next up, I picked up some pieces from Theory. I am wearing this jumper from Theory in this blue color. You all know how much I absolutely love this. I actually had to stop wearing it in my videos because I started wearing it in all of my videos. So I decided to pick this up in a different color, in this cream color. I believe I got this on sale. I don't remember exactly the price of this originally. I'll put it on the screen. I believe I paid something like £187, something like that for this one. These are actually two different sizes. This is in a size small, which is my usual size. And this one is actually in a size P, which is petite. And that's because in the store, they only had it in a P or in an M. To be honest, I didn't notice that much of a difference on me between the P and the S. It's only a slight difference. So I decided to go for this one. Then I actually did pick that up myself, but I was also working with Theory over on Instagram. I haven't brought absolutely everything here with me because I didn't want this video to be hours and hours long. But I did decide to feature some of my favorites, which is two blazers and two trousers. Again, there is more pieces, but that's over on Instagram if you want to go and check that out. This this is, I believe, called the Goodwill Blazer in the black. Again, I'll leave the price on the screen. I believe I got this one in a size four and then the gray one in a size two. This is so incredible because it has this, you'll see in the close up, inverted V shape at the bottom of the blazer, which is so unique. And then I also got it with the Demetria pants. They are super long, so you do have to wear them with heels, especially if you're around my height. I'm around five foot six. And then I literally picked up the same exact things, but in gray. So it's the gray Demetria pants which by the way, I got both of them in a size zero, zero. Then I got the gray blazer. I think you might be able to see better the inverted V that I was talking about at the bottom. Now I did actually have a discount code for Theory, but that expired yesterday. So if I get a new one, I'll put it over on Instagram. But if you ever want to know if I have discount codes for certain brands, definitely check out my Instagram because that's where you'll see the majority of them. And to end off this haul, I feel like I have around five pieces which will resemble each other a lot. This is a shirt from H&M. Like I mentioned before I got the Loewe shirt I was picking up a lot of dupes which is why in the end I just decided to get the actual Loewe shirt. This is the one I picked up initially from H&M it's this satin finish one and I believe this one was if I'm not wrong under the £20 mark so there's definitely loads of dupes even though it is just a satin finish or silk shirt this one isn't specifically silk but it's not like Loewe reinvented a silk shirt it's just the one I love particularly it has that v-neck design which in my head really resembled the Loewe one 
one and then i picked up these trousers which have this texture to them which i absolutely love this goes really well as an all cream outfit with my theory jumper the shirt i got in a size small and then this i got in a size eu 32 which is a size 4 speaking of h&m this isn't h&m but this is to go with the trousers i've been getting quite a few questions about this so i decided to include it in this video i did also get it in black but again i didn't want to elongate this video this is from a brand called lux to kill which i don't shop there all the time anymore just was searching for tops like this and they came up on lux to kill this is actually a dress even though it will look very short when you put it on it is a dress this is in a size six i got it in two sizes it's one of those really unique necklines that i really love this one i believe was around 18 pounds which is why i decided to get another size to wear as a dress more comfortably and then this as a top and then lastly in this video i have some pieces from uniqlo I've really been loving Uniqlo recently. I've picked up quite a few of their base layers. This, again, I was buying quite a few shirts that resembled the Loewe shirt. This is the same situation. Absolutely love this. However, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this. I picked this up in a size small, and this was £29.90. And then this I picked up in around December time. It's one of their premium wool turtlenecks in the size small. The good thing about Uniqlo, if you find a colour that you like, they'll have it in loads of different fabrics. So for example, this same turtleneck. They also make it in a fine knit, and then they also make it in cashmere. And just like that, we've come to the end of the spring haul. I feel like it was definitely bigger than expected, but again, I feel like it's because some of these pieces I've had since December so it's pieces that I've been picking up over the last two and a bit months let me know in the comment section down below if you prefer it when I make videos like this a little bit longer basically showing you things that I've picked up over the last couple of months if you prefer them to be a little bit shorter in length with that being said I hope to see you very very soon in my next video